that area today. Action News Now reporter Lauren Cooper is live at Chico State. So Lauren, do experts think that these quakes could be signs of some sort of volcanic activity ramping up? Well, Chico State professor, geology professor, and chair member for the environmental science department here at Chico State, Todd Green, says that the fault lines that were active in yesterday's volcanoes are too far away from Mount Lassen. And so for now, he thinks there's nothing to worry about in terms of seeing any volcanic activity. So it's very common for active volcanic centers to have earthquakes and, uh, occur. That, that is a well-known fact. This is pretty far, though, from, volcanic, from any active volcanic center. Um, and I, I don't think that they're related at all. But he told me these recent earthquakes have shown there are newly discovered fault lines underneath Lake Almanor, where the earthquakes originated from and that they need to be studied more so we can plan ahead for any damages they could cause to infrastructure in the future, with special consideration to the Canyon Dam. I think the main concern is the dam, um, and if there's a larger earthquake. Um, that water goes directly into the North Fork of the Feather River. That Feather River goes straight into Oroville. You really don't want that water of Lake Almanor going, in, going down that fast. That would be catastrophic. Green also told me that California is not used, Northern California is not used to earthquakes like this in our area because we don't have any major fault lines in Northern California. But he said these newly discovered fault lines underneath Lake Almanor were likely not considered when big infrastructure like the Canyon Dam was built. I'm Lauren Cooper reporting in Chico with Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Interesting. Thank you, Lauren. And it was actually the eruption in 1915 that led to the creation of the National Park because of